Welcome back friends, it's Anders. Today I'm making a pina colada. A lot of people do this very differently. I'm just gonna show you how I do it. Coconut, pineapple, and rum. Coconut, pineapple, yum. That was lame. I actually love pina coladas, who doesn't? They make you feel like you're off somewhere tropical. And who doesn't like that? If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for more sips, tips, and recipes, and hit that notification bell. Just do it, you'll see what happens. Let's go make a pina colada. To the bar. Several people claim to have invented the pina colada. In fact, the oldest origin story dates back to the early 1800s. A Puerto Rican pirate by the name of Roberto Cofresi. And it's said that he made this for his pirate friends on his pirate ship. He just whipped up a pina colada to calm all of the sailors to avoid a potential mutiny. Legend has it, he took that recipe with him to the grave. Isn't that crazy? I don't buy it. A more believable story is that Ramon Marrero came up with this drink at the Caribe Hilton in San Juan, Puerto Rico in 1954. Allegedly, he was tasked with creating a drink that captured the spirit of Puerto Rico, and he did. It took him three months. But the original pina colada that he came up with didn't have rum. Instead, he used half and half, and he turned it into a milkshake so he could serve it to families at the hotel. But soon thereafter, somebody said, you should put rum in that, and it would be really good. And he did, and it was. And we have the pina colada we know today. Also in the 1950s, tourism in Puerto Rico became a major industry. And because this cocktail was created in a hotel, it's associated with beach vacation and has been ever since. Now, a lot of people make this drink very differently. Some people put it in a stand blender. Some people just shake it, pour it over crushed ice. I'm gonna use an immersion blender. I'm gonna do it inside my shaking tin. Now the booze. For this recipe, we're gonna need light rum, pineapple juice, cream of coconut, and coconut milk. The rum I'm using is the Real McCoy Three Year. Originally, this would have been made with a Puerto Rican rum. This is from Barbados, but it's still a light rum. I think it's great in a pina colada. If you want, you could go dark rum and it's gonna be tasty. That's up to you. How much of the rum you wanna taste? You do a dark rum float on top, that would be good too. For the pineapple juice, I'm using fresh juice, but you can use canned pineapple juice and it's still gonna be very good. The cream of coconut, this is my homemade recipe. And if you're interested, check out my video on that. Otherwise, you can get store-bought. I would recommend Coco Lopez if you go that route. This is the original cream of coconut, and I've had many pina coladas with this stuff, and it's, well, it's really tasty. I'm also adding coconut milk, and this is primarily for texture. You could also use heavy cream, but I'm going dairy-free. Let's build. For this recipe, I've made it a number of different ways. A lot of recipes will call for all equal parts, which is good, but I find that the coconut really overpowers and it becomes a coconut-forward drink. I've just come to like it with more pineapple juice. Try this recipe, see what you think. Let's start with the rum. We'll do two ounces of your light rum. Then we can do one ounce of the cream of coconut. I'm gonna match that with the coconut milk. So one ounce of coconut milk. And then six ounces of pineapple juice. Now grab some crushed ice. For this, I'm doing two scoops, which is gonna be about, I'd say eight to 10 ounces of crushed ice. Of course, if you want it icier, then add more ice. If you want more of a slushy style. So with the immersion blender, we can just blend it up in the shaking tin. Get all the ice. It starts to froth kind of whipping it. That's about good. You see it start to foam up. It's just gonna be nice and fluffy. Grab your chilled glass and pour it straight in. Now to garnish, I'm gonna take a little bit of this leftover pineapple and cut a couple pieces, two wedges. Got a few pineapple fronds that I hung on to. And then if you like, a cocktail cherry and a straw. There is the pina colada. Cheers. Oh man. Mm. Get pineapple up front, sweet coconut, extremely dangerous because you don't notice that you're drinking the rum so much. Oz, would you like a sip? Yes, please. Oh wow. I might have to make two. Some fresh pineapple juice really makes it nice and bright. It's, it's kind of a game changer. Try it, you're gonna love it. 
Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Cheers.